Grades is a central location in PolyLearn where students' grades are stored and displayed. Locate it in the Settings block and click on the Grades link to access the PolyLearn gradebook. If you have already added activities such as assignments or quizzes to the course, they will automatically appear in the gradebook. As it was in Blackboard, quizzes that don't include essay or short answer questions will be automatically graded. The default view of the gradebook is the Grader Report under the View tab. Here you can view and edit all course grades. You can also view an individual student's grades by clicking on the User Report link in the top navigation bar. Click on the pull-down menu in the upper right corner and choose a student from the list to view their grade report. The Categories and Items tab allows you to organize your gradebook. If you haven't already created grading categories, scroll down on the Categories and Items page and click on the Add Category button. Type a name for the category and select an aggregation type. The aggregation determines how grades in a category are combined in the category total. If you are confused about a particular setting in the gradebook, like aggregations, most of the settings have a yellow question mark icon next to them that you can click upon for more detailed information. Modify other category options as desired and select a parent category for the category. The default parent category will be the all-encompassing course category, like Biology 1138 here, but you can nest subcategories into other categories as well. Click on the Save Changes button to finish. If you need to add grade columns to your gradebook, click on the Categories and Items tab and then scroll down to click on the Add Grade Item button. Enter a name for the grade item, modify other options as desired, and assign it a category. Click on the Save Changes button to finish. The grade item will be nested in the category that you chose. Note that categories and items can always be edited, deleted, moved, or hidden by clicking on the editing icons across from each. You can also move grade items around in the categories and items page. These changes will be reflected in the grader report as well. To move a grade item or category, place a check mark next to the item or category, scroll down the page, and click on the Move Selected Items pull down menu. Select a category and click on the Save Changes button. Now that you've organized your gradebook, you can begin entering grades. Click on the View tab and make sure you're in the Grader Report. To begin editing grades, click on the Turn Editing On button in the upper right corner of the page. You won't be able to make any changes to the Grader Report unless editing has been turned on. Enter grades in the grade cells. For quicker grading, you can use the Tab key on your computer keyboard to easily move to the next cell below. When you've finished entering grades, click on the Update button below the spreadsheet. Your category totals should now be updated. If assignment submissions need to be downloaded or a quiz essay question requires manual grading, Simply click on that item's link in the Grader Report to view submissions and award points. When you click on an assignment with files uploaded by students, you can download all submissions by clicking on the Download All Assignments as a zip link in the top right corner of the page. When you're ready to grade, you can grade all the submissions quickly by enabling quick grading. To turn this feature on, go to the optional settings area and place a check mark next to Allow Quick Grading. Click on the Save Preferences button. The page will refresh with a grade and comment text box for each student. Enter a grade and a feedback comment if you desire, and then click on the Save All My Feedback button to finish. If a quiz question requires manual grading, like an essay or short answer question, you can click on the quiz link in the grader report to see the quiz attempts and student responses. The table on this page shows student attempt data. You can regrade attempts, delete attempts, review a particular student's attempt, and view questions that need grading. However, the easiest way to grade those questions that require manual grading is to click on the manual grading link in the navigation block. 
This page displays only those questions that require manual grading. When you click in the two grade column for a specific question, responses are presented on a single page separated by student for efficient grading. Award points, add comments, and click on the Save and Go to Next Page button when you're finished. Back in the Grader Report, the students' grades will be updated with the new scores. For reference, here's what a student will see when they check their course grades. These scores can be modified simply by clicking in the grade cell and entering a new grade. After clicking the Update button, you'll notice that the grade cell appears highlighted in a tan color. This color flags a grade as having been overridden. If at any time you wish to return to the original score before being overridden, click on the Edit icon for that grade cell. Remove the check mark next to Overridden. Scroll down and click on the Save Changes button. The highlight around that cell will be removed and the original grade entered. You can also hide grades from students. Clicking on the eye icon for the course category will hide all grades from all students. Clicking on the eye icon for a category or a grade column will hide those items from all students. And clicking on the eye icon for a specific grade cell will hide that grade from the corresponding student. In the top navigation bar, you'll see a Letters tab. Grade letter percentages have already been set to Cal Poly standards and do not require additional modification. The Settings and My Preferences tabs allow you to modify your gradebook to your liking. If you're confused about how a setting will affect your course, Click on the yellow question mark icons next to that setting for more detailed information. For additional information on the gradebook, click on the Need Help link at the top of the page to access the PolyLearn support site where you'll find a detailed written tutorial on PolyLearn's gradebook features.